There's always a time for prayers in the life of Jamal Marouf and for other opposition leaders too. Jamal is the leader of Syria's martyrs, battalions and brigades, a faction of the Free Syrian Army. He was a construction worker in Lebanon and on March 2011, he joined the revolution against the Syrian regime. Say Jamal Marouf and the rebels will certainly tell you that he was the first who shot down a MiG warplane. Since the outbreak of the revolution, his life became endangered, but he doesn't care. He drives his car towards Aleppo to inspect the site where bloody battles happened against the regime's forces a few days ago. You can find behind me the stores of Khan Tuman. The importance of these stores is that they contain large amounts of ammunition that are worth millions of dollars. A few days ago, the fighters succeeded in controlling them and taking them from the Syrian regime forces, but just for a few hours because the regime forces were able to target the stores through aircraft shelling, the rebels lost a large amount of ammunition that would have helped them in their fight. Disappointment and anger prevail among the fighters. What they need to end the battle is some anti-aircraft and some heavy weapons. This is rejected by the international community so far. Yusuf tells me, we want ammunition and weapons. We only have a shotgun and some ammunition. We need many other arms. We want ammunition, heavy weapons, mortars, etc. We are striking the aircrafts with the shotguns. Omar says before the revolution, he used to work as an ordinary civilian worker in Lebanon. He never imagined that a revolution can erupt in Syria. At a time dominated by hatred and bloodshed, there was still a place for forgiveness. Mahmoud was a soldier in the ranks of the regime's army, and he was captured by the rebels in his last battle. Jamal Marouf gave him the opportunity to choose between getting enrolled in the Free Syrian Army or return to his family safely. Jamal Marouf asks Mahmoud, what will you do now? Mahmoud answers, he will go back to his family. According to the rebels, Mahmoud was delivered to his family after the interview. Jamal Marouf is trying to reassure the people. The Alawites have not recorded any killing incident. We have not killed Alawites. Al Fu'a village in the province of Idlib is a Shiite village, and yet we have never raided this village or killed their children, he tells me. This is how we spend the days with the opposition fighters. We listen to their two and only requirements money and arms. They prepare, plan their attacks and dream of victory. They know that today they are alive, but tomorrow they may join the long list of victims who died by the Syrian regime forces. Rima Maktabi, Al Arabiya, Syria.